dudes welcome back to another video this is a pretty cool video i'm pretty excited about it because i'm fishing with somebody that is pretty special to me in terms of my journey fly fishing so growing up i never fished it was uh snowboarding and motocross and stuff like that but i think i was injured or something and i always liked the idea of fishing so i figured out a way to fish and i was throwing shrimp right at the top of this canal just dangling them in there catching heaps of salmon it was pretty cool so about 16 years ago i was driving up this canal to go chuck shrimp in my favorite fishing spot which i had only just discovered and right here i saw a dude with a fly rod walking his dog i knew who he was so i knew he was a local trout fishing guide but that's about all i knew anyway i stopped ahead to chat to him and i asked about the fly rod and stuff and he told me about it and while i was talking to him just up in here somewhere he pointed out a fish and it was like about a four pound brown he snuck down there and behind the fish threw a little dry fly down in front of it the fish came up rose ate it landed the fish and i was just blown away i was like that is what i want to do very next day i brought a fly rod and i feel like i've been fishing every day since then so over the next couple of years declan did impart some of his knowledge onto me while i would I, I had to hassle him a lot for it uh, but he he was uh he was forthcoming and and helped me out early in my fly fishing journey so i am very excited to go meet up with him and try to catch one of these giant fish out of this river uh, that i've been catching the last couple of days all right let's do it Canals aren't made for, for fly fishing. De oh, Declan. Good to see you, man. It has been a long time. It was getting. <clears throat> there's only like one pool left with heaps of fish, uh -huh. and then there's few scattered around. Uh -huh. But we'll go there first, see if hopefully there's not too many people there. Yep. And uh, see if we can find one. Can you remember? You probably can't, but years and years and years ago, I drove up the canals and you were walking your dog and fishing the edge. Yeah. You can remember that? I remember that. Yeah, because you came out and you said, hey, I can't believe you just did that. Yeah. I go, yeah, yeah, it's fine. And, yeah. Do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. And then, yeah. then you started getting into it and then you used to come down to the house and we'd just yak yeah, yeah. And... Well, that was, um, that, I, that, that is a pivotal moment. Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, I was blown away that you could do that because I was going out to throw shrimp in the canal. Yeah. Stop watching you do that. I was like, holy f that's way better. Hey, how's it? You find many? Uh, no, we've only been eating long actually. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing so far. Yeah. 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 Nice spot though. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, do you want me to do it? What are you doing? We'll get it strung up and we'll get it in the river. Okay. We'll get you fishing. That's a little eggy doo we'll throw in there. We just need an edgemicator, indemicator. I'm just so eager to, I really want you to catch one. Uh -huh. I'm a bit nervous because, I don't know, come all this way. Really? Oh, don't worry about it. So I'm like, just eager to get you in there. Because we could be first fly through, which is a big advantage. All right, man. Okay, let's do it. So the first time in a long time someone's tied on a fly for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good. I eh? get used to it. There you go. Oh, thank you. I just Your weapon. All right, right. So we'll go out on about this angle. It gets pretty deep, but then it actually gets a little bit more shallow. Okay. I'm fairly confident I can see some right there. I don't know if you can just see a big smudgy gray smudge right in the middle. Right here. Oh yeah. yeah. Right there? Right. It could be. It's uh -huh. pretty hard to tell. But yeah, we'll start from about here. I'm pretty sure I can see some. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect for what I can see. And they're like right underneath there. Yep. Ooh. Did he, mate? Let's take about a step. There's a good rock here that keeps you kind of high. Yeah, or just around it there's some shallower ground so you're not going to be as deep. Yep. Years and years ago, I think he was fishing this out of season. I, I, I just mentioned to him in the winter and he, he rolled up to that pool. Yeah. The first pool. This long Down at the anybody, mouth. Anybody was fishing it. Yeah, that's got to be a clump. See that dirty stuff? Oh, oh that is a fish. Yep. Oh. Get him tight. Get him tight. We found one. <laughs> well, you know what six pound does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heaps of time though, there's no no pressure to, you know. I think he might have taken the bomb, which is a good sign. Don't even think he took the egg. A little bit of pull, eh? Yeah, beautiful fish. He ate the egg. Just need to get his head up. Oh! <laughs> Well done, Declan. Thank you. We got one. We'll try to get one of these these pretty hens. A big boy. Oops. Pumped. Super stoked we got Declan onto the first fish. But we'll put the flies back in there and see if we can get a hen. Because they seem to be in much prettier, much better condition. Have you ever fished the Tongariro? No, never have. We should come up there one year. I know you wouldn't have much reason to visit the North Island, but... I don't know. <clears throat> Come and experience some of that. I mean, one of the bits of water I was thinking about is off the Tyree. Tyree. Um, I don't know if you've fished the Tyree before, but. Oh, I know where it is, for yeah. sure. Yep. Oh, it's a fish. But it's moving. Not a rockfish? Not a rockfish. I don't think he's as big as the other one, but. Uh, I think it's too early to say. I think it's pretty bloody big myself. Yeah. Yep. We'll go with your estimation. Yeah, it's pretty big. Probably about the same. But hopefully it's a hen. We get him in the dirt, eh? Oh, that's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Just feel you out. If you'll just settle down for a second. Yeah, back out. Yeah, because he's. Hold well on, man. Thank right. you. We'll go look for another one. You're in? Beautiful. Declan's in. Hopefully this is a hen. No, I think that's a jack too. Maybe all the hens are somewhere else. Because that's four jacks. We've hooked there. We'll just try and hopefully just 
comes right across here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at the hump on them. Just a crazy fish. Oh. What a big, they're pretty jack though. Beautiful. Very cool fish. Very cool fish. Right, he's goodness. happy. He's happy to go for it. Sorry, I'm screwing up your. Uh, Didn't quite get the release on that, I was chasing my net downstream. <laughs> All right, so we've just had lunch and uh, moved downstream, found another fish. It was really super cool to get. I was a bit worried about how today was gonna go because this river's been smashed over the last couple. So super happy that Declan got a couple of really nice fish in the net, but it'd be cool to pick off some stragglers, some individual fish that are just, you know, swinging around. That's what we were trying to do yesterday. We've got a couple out of here. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, I don't think I was rolling. We worked on this fish for so long. I just go grab my net. Didn't have my net, so now I'm running. I'm running. Exhausted already. Huh. Yeah, that's no good. Get down here yeah, we'll just swing them in. Woohoo! <laughs> Pretty jack. Cool hook jaw. I'd say he has to be a good 12, 13. I don't know, it's so hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. So hard to tell. But yeah, really pretty fish. Well done. We had to work hard for that guy. Really hard. Well, <laughs> we just stepped out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how many casts? Oh, right. I guess. A few fly changes. What a dinosaur. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, yes. buddy. You got a bit of juice. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. So I ruined the day. But you lose, man. What well on, dude. Thank you. Boom. All right, so pumped. We got Declan four fish. I haven't caught a fish, but I'm not too worried about it. I really wanted to just to make sure Declan got onto some. I had just shot off downstream because I left my rod way down there. I've left Declan out here fishing with his fish. Maybe he's got one. I don't know. But, um... I'm gonna have a go, see if I can get one in the bank and see what happens. Uh, you know, so I'm not really trying to muscle it too much. Just going past the fish right there. Yep. Occasionally they give you an early opportunity. Uh huh. Thought she was gonna for a second. But turns out not. She feels like she's just gonna let you get an opportunity and then she's just back over mid river again. I'm hoping I can remain quiet enough that she just hits me. Oh, dude, that's big. That's pretty big, Declan. <laughs> can you see that? I can, it's just freely moving around. It's gonna give you a hard time. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Ho <laughs> ho! 
Look at the colors on that thing. So that's what the hens I was talking that's about. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. What a fish. So this is one of the hens I was telling you about. Uh -huh. That's so fat. That is a Super fat hen. Fat. See how white it is that way? It's crazy. Anyway, I'm let this girl go. All right, whenever you're ready, girlfriend, you can just uh, get on out of here. Where you go? <laughs> you know, it's just filled with a lot of energy. All right, so I'm super stoked. I would have much preferred Declan catch that hen because the hens just seem to be in a bit better condition and they're just, I don't know, that's what I'm preferring to catch at the moment. But anyway, we've got Declan four nice rainbows, but we are going to go to one more spot. I haven't fished it yet this year and I haven't seen that. Somebody definitely fished it yesterday, but I, I don't know. It could be good. I, I think it's been unpressured, for the most part unpressured. So hopefully, hopefully that's where we can get Declan a hen, but who knows. Who knows? Oh yeah, there's one swimming downstream under your line now. It's freaking huge. I'm wondering if you might, might be good to come up to this rock. Maybe they're all up here. Fish? <laughs> Declan is in. Does it feel big? A couple of big rocks around here to uh, yeah, do battle with. I see it, it's big and it's a big hen. Big hen? Yeah, I would start making your way through here. Okay. I think we're okay for now. Okay. Maybe she's going to play ball and just come inside this bay. Oh, close. So close, Declan. Right on the edge of that rock there, she's trying to go underneath it. Oh, so close. We're almost there, heaps of time, no pressure, no rush. Just need her to roll this way. Oh yes, Declan. <laughs> what a pretty hen. Yeah. I'll let her go, eh? Yep, just one more little quick show. Well done, man. So happy you got that guy. <laughs> well done, dude. It's an well, effort getting know, her. I have to look at the footage and I've done that so many times. It's like, oh my God. All right, dudes, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly had an absolute ball fishing with Declan. Uh, so a huge thank you to him for driving up, meeting up with me. We've been trying to do this for a couple of years now, but we just haven't quite got it there. So happy we finally did it. And the day turned into a good day. We caught five, six really good fish. And that is after that river has been pressured for a few days. So I was really happy with how it went. And super glad I could be there when Declan caught those massive fish. Another huge thank you to Declan, because like I was trying to portray at the start of this video, is it was a, a very important part of my life, or part of my fly fishing life, is meeting him on the canal that day. I may have never discovered fly fishing if I ha hadn't have you know, bumped into him there. And a huge thank you to him for showing me what he did early on in my fly fishing career. Like he showed me how to, he showed me how to tie on a fly. He showed me how to you know, do all that really basic stuff that definitely had to help him getting me to where I am today. So yeah, Declan is in one more video coming up soon. And then hopefully next time I'm down there, which I'm hoping will be in a month or two, uh, hopefully we link up again and do some more fishing. Should be really cool. Uh, I had some other stuff to tell you, but I can't remember what it was right now, and this video is already pretty long, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment, it all helps do wonderful things in the YouTube world. Uh, so, yeah, thanks. All right, 
I will catch all of you in the next one. Peace.